I'm Ryan from Prima. Welcome to this introduction to Brewing Skills Lab. Today, I'll be highlighting one of many aspects of preparing great pour over coffee. For our five part course, we encourage you to join the introduction to brewing course in the Prima Coffee community. Especially when you're just getting started on your coffee journey, the number of manual brewers available can be overwhelming. And you might ask, how the heck do I choose one of these manual coffee devices? To get started on the right foot, let's talk about a few criteria to consider when deciding what's right for you. First, how much coffee are you brewing? Are you making a cup for yourself only, or do you need to make two to four or more cups at once? Small diameter drippers shouldn't be used to make large batches, and wide shallow drippers generally shouldn't be used to make single cups of coffee. For the most even extraction of the grounds and ultimately the best tasting coffee, it's important to choose a brewer that's designed to brew just as much as you need. Next, how involved do you want to be? Is coffee a morning ritual that you want to take your time with, or do you need to get it done quickly? Do you want to impress your friends with a chemistry experiment, or do you desire classic simplicity? Choosing the right level of involvement is extremely important to make sure the process is enjoyable. Do you prefer body or clarity? This comes down to two things, the type of filter and the mode of brewing. When it comes to filters, paper will inherently withhold more solids, resulting in a cleaner cup, and metal filters will allow more solids to pass through, creating a cup with more body. There are two modes of brewing, percolation and immersion. Percolation is where water is poured over grounds and allowed to pass through under gravity. Coffee itself acts as its own best filter, and percolation will always result in a cleaner tasting cup that better highlights clarity and acidity and other subtle flavors in coffee. Immersion is the second mode where water and grounds are suspended together in a slurry. This method introduces dissolved solids into the cup and therefore more texture and body. And now the big question, flat or conical pour over drippers? According to a study done by UC Davis, participants were clearly able to distinguish a difference in flavor between a flat bottom dripper like this and a cone shaped dripper. While the cone drippers highlighted acid, citrus, and berry flavors, the flat bottom brewer tended to highlight sweetness, dried fruit, and floral characteristics. Neither is really better than the other, but they will inherently make coffee taste different, and ultimately, that's just a matter of personal taste. You should try both. That's it for today's Introduction to Brewing Skills Lab. To learn more about how to perfect your pour over brewing, be sure to complete our beginners and advanced pour over brewing courses in the Prima Coffee community. Thanks for watching.